Hello everyone. Thank you for your interest in Newtown microcontroller products. We'll give you a fast introduction about N9H30 series with EMWin solution. After watching this video, users can understand N9H30 series for HMI application and hardware platform. This is the Newtown MPU product line roadmap. From this product trend, we know that Newtown N9H solutions include NIH20, NIH26, and NIH30 series solutions. The NIH series is mainly for HMI application. NIH series provides the graphics and video accelerator for HMI EMWIN platform. The excellent acceleration function makes good GUI quality and outstanding performance. NIH series includes NIH20, NIH26, and NIH30 subseries. We are going to focus on the NIH30 series in this video. The NIH30 series products is the evolution from NUC 970 series. The ARM 926 CPU can run up to 300 MHz. The key difference is that the NIH30 series supports EMWIN function, but NUC 970 series doesn't. The NIH30 series uses multi-chip package technology. NIH30 K41i is embedded with 16 MB DRAM. NIH30 F61IEC has 64 MB DRAM, and NIH30 F71IEC has 128 megabytes DRAM. Newton provides MCP which embedding the DRAM to PKG because MCP has the following advantages. System cost reduction. The performance is optimum. Product can pass EMI easily. The system design effort can be shortened. Good production yield. This table shows the key features of NIH30 series. The CPU can run up to 300 MHz. Display is suggested to use 800 times 480 LCD for good performance. NIH30 provides hardware JPEG and 2D graphics engines. Those can speed up the EMWIN video or graphics performance. NIH30 series has built-in 4-wire or 5-wire resistive type touch controller. The touch panel can connect with NIH30 touch interface directly without external component cost. NIH30 series supports two USB functions. One USB 2.0 high-speed port can act as host or a device by OTG cable, and the other dedicated USB 2.0 can act as high-speed host port. NIH30 supports booting sources from eMMC memory, NAND flash, SPI NOR flash, or USB. The USB booting can provide code programming for engineering development with the tool of new writer provided by Newton. NIH30 series supports two Ethernet ports, 11 UART ports, two CAM ports, SD memory card, and two smart card interfaces for applications. Non-OS and Linux BSP are ready for user development. Users can use USB host port or SDIO port to connect Wi-Fi module for function achievement if Wi-Fi communication is needed. NIH30 series provides low-cost LQFP type MCP, providing 16 megabytes or up to 128 megabytes embedded DRAM for system design by demand. This is NIH30 series system application block. Based on this block, we can know NIH30 has quite rich I.O. for external devices connectivity, such as USB jungle device, LCD displayer, flash memory, Ethernet, and UR device. 
NH30 series also supports I2S interface. Users can place an external audio codec for connectivity to get audio solutions, such as microphone voice input and sound output from speaker. Let's take a look at the NH30 series power scheme. NH30 provides an independent power rail 3.3V for RTC block to keep calendar data. The chip is powered by 1.2V for core logic and powered by 3.3V for IO cell. It is better to use DC to DC power IC to get the optimum power consumption. This is the NH30 series comparison table. In this table, we can find NH30 key features and the differences. Please notice that NH30 F61 IEC and NH30 F71 IEC parts support EMWing on Linux OS. About NH30 power consumption, core power current is around 185 mA when CPU is running at normal operation. At safe standby mode, Core power current will be down to around 3 mA. All engineers are disabled, and all clocks stop. Only DRAM is alive and enters the self-refresh. For power down mode, system power is off. Only RTC power supply is alive. In this mode, RTC VDD drops to around 7 mA. Typical HMI application with NIH series can be designed for industrial control application, like measurement meter, elevator display with floor information, white appliances with LCD, and medical machines with LCD for more convenient operation. NIH 30 series supports up to 1024 times 600 high resolution LCD. Let me introduce the Newton NIH 30 EMWing demo board platform. As shown in the demo board outline, it includes a two-layer PCB and one component side in the back of PCB. The platform incorporates one 7-inch LCD with 800 times 480 resolution, and a four-wire resistive type touch panel is embedded. This is NIH30 EMWin demo board system architecture. You can tell that NIH30 demo board external connectivity includes USB connector, 7-inch LCD connector, UART port, RS-485 ports, SD memory card, and SPI NAND flash for system booting option. The NIH30 EMWin demo board key parts combination is pretty clear in the PCB component side picture. The 128MB NAND flash and 2MB SPI NOR flash are windbound flash products. Other features include TTL UART0, UART3, and UART8 can be connected with external devices by 14 header individually. RS-232 transceiver with UART2 is connected to power supply daughter board. RS-484 transceiver with UR6 is connected to power supply daughter board. One USB device port is for PC communication, and the other USB host port is for dongle devices connectivity. SD memory card accesses with TF card slot is available. Inolux 7-inch LCD module with 4-wire R-type touch panel is supported. CR2301 battery slot is for RTC power backup. We can see the GUI graphic user interface display with EMWing in the NIH30 demo board platform. Tool New Writer can program the code to flash. It is an engineering tool and supports many functions for engineer debugging and development, such as flash start block and end block setting. If users want to get a better understanding, please refer to the new writer user guide. Let's start the introduction of programming the main code to NIH30 EMWin demo board. Please follow the steps. 1. First to switch demo board to the USB booting mode. 
and run the PC tool of New Writer. 2. Connect the USB connector to PC. 3. Start to operate the New Writer tool. Please see the next page for detailed flow. Steps to burn code to demo platform. 1. Press the reconnect icon. 2. Select the SPF flash item if you want to program it. 3. Load the program code. 4. Set the address 0. 5. Press burn icon to program. After the code programming is finished, we can get successful messages. Users can visit Newtown website to get NIH30 related information. If users are interested in getting more detailed data or support from Newtown, please reach us through contact windows. Newtown will open the FTP data after authorization. Here is the information of technical support window. Feel free to ask NIH series related questions. Thank you for watching this video. We hope you enjoy it. You can find our contact channels in this slide if you need more information.